welcome to Buzz on Business. I'm Trisha PC, the owner of Farmers Insurance, the PC agency, and I sit on the board of directors for Northern Medina County Chamber Alliance. Today we have with us Teresa. She is with Battered Women's Shelter and Rape Crisis Center. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit of what you guys provide. At the Better Women's Shelter and the Ray Crisis Center of Summit Medina County, we provide supportive services to survivors of sexual violence, human trafficking, and also domestic violence. So within our Ray Crisis Center Services Program, we offer counseling, individual, and group for both those who have been impacted directly by sexual violence and their supportive family members. We have advocacy where we can support survivors throughout the entire criminal justice system process. And then also when survivors go to the emergency room to have a medical exam after being assaulted, we have somebody that can be there and support them through that entire process as well. Typically, survivors are showing up in those hospital spaces by themselves, and it's a very, very traumatic situation for them to go through that by themselves. So we're there, whether it's three o'clock in the afternoon, or three o'clock in the morning, we can be there with them. Wow. We also have a, a really great outreach and education component because we truly believe as part of our mission that we should be focusing on not only responding to sexual violence, but the prevention of sexual violence. And so we provide information, uh, age appropriate information in the schools and in the communities and at Akron University about you know sexual assault, understanding consent. And even at a young age, we could talk to third graders about asking for a consent to uh, touch a pencil. Can I borrow your crayon? Can I give you a hug? And then as the individual's age, older, we start talking about it more of a sense of dating relationships. Uh, and then we also have uh, our human trafficking services where we work with the human trafficking task force in this area to help respond to and the prevention of human trafficking as well. So sometimes when they go on the stings or develop stings that you may see in the news, our team of advocates are right there. So when they identify these survivors, they have someone that can kind of walk them through the process of whether it's going to the hospital, engaging with law enforcement, maybe they need shelter right away and some of their basic needs met and that advocate can connect them to those services. And through our domestic violence program, we have a shelter, two shelters. We have a shelter here in Medina County. And so in Akron, we have uh, 154 beds in our Akron shelter. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so we provide services to women, men, uh, families, uh, people from different sexual orientations, gender identities, whoever need a safe place because they're fleeing a domestic violence situation. And we have all of our counseling services, a lot of psychoeducational groups, case management, and then our housing programs. We know that one of the number one reasons sometimes that people stay within abusive relationships is the fear of being homeless. So we have multiple housing programs that we can connect survivors to that we would be able to help them through some of our grants, you know, pay for their rent for a few months or sometimes even up to a year. Wow, that's that's amazing. And you know, the, the one thing is, is don't let the name fool you because <laughs> it is for everybody. It's everybody. not just for women. Absolutely. Uh, we serve men uh, who have experienced violence and sometimes the violence is not just an intimate partner. That's why I use the word domestic violence because sometimes when we think about intimate partner violence, we think about relationship violence only. But the word domestic violence is a little bit broader because it incorporates violence that people experience within their domestic situation. And that okay. could be violence at the hands of a family member violence at the hands of a loved one. We unfortunately have um, some of our elder clients that come in, our senior citizens, they come in because they experience violence at the hands of their caregiver. Unfortunately, that caregiver is often a family member, a child, another sibling. And so sometimes people think of domestic violence as only intimate partner violence situations. But when we look at it again, it's broader. So we do serve men who have been experienced violence either at the hands of their families or at the hands of their loved one. Uh, we have children who come into the shelter with their families. Typically, we are running at half of capacity as children, 50 to 60% are children in the shelter, in which we have designed um, some family services programs for them because we want to support the whole family. Although that child may not have directly experienced the trauma, but indirectly, that trauma has impacted them. Absolutely. And you know, even though you're in Akron, you can be in Cuyahoga County, Medina County, and you can still go to Akron for help. 
Uh, yes, because one of the things we know is that sometimes uh, survivors may not feel safe within their own communities, and so they'll come to another community for that safety. And we do the same thing. If their survivor presents to us from a Dino or um, Akron area and say, hey, I don't feel safe staying in this area, what we're going to do is get on the phone with our partners and say, hey, do you have a bed available? Can we transport this person down there to make sure that they're safe and away from the person that's causing them harm? So yes, just call our hotline at any given time, which is available 24-7. We'll do a, a quick assessment and try to get the person into shelter as soon as possible. If not at our facility, we'll help get them connected to the correct facility. Oh, that's so amazing. So let's talk about October. October is Domestic Violence um, Awareness Month. Yes. So October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And during that time period, we, we do a lot of education anyway, but we really laser focus on the fact about the impact of domestic violence, about resources in the community, providing education to whoever will let us in the door. So, and we do fundraisers during that month to also okay. help support the services that we are um, giving to the community. So one of the things that I think is really important for people to know is that if you want us to come out to your church, your school, your community group, maybe even your business, and you want to talk about domestic violence, we're, we're here. Just call us and we can come out. Sometimes organizations during that time of the month would do like toiletry drives for us. Uh, and that's what we call our external fundraisers. And we're allowed to use those toiletries to give to survivors while they're in the shelter uh, to help them, you know, just feel at home. Somebody wants a nice soap, shampoo, and different things like that. Uh, our community partners and friends tend to do more drives for us during the October month. And um, just really quickly, so it, the um, the shelters, people don't know where the shelters are at. Yes, yeah, so our shelter here in Medina is at an undisclosed location. We don't have that one public. Our shelter in the Akron area is at a disclosed location. It's open to the pub. People know where it is. And that's a trend that has been changing over the years uh, where more DV shelters are open in the community. And so we want to take away that shame and stigma that can be attached to it, but also mm -hmm. making sure that you know, as an organization, we have protective factors in place to make sure people are safe. And in the community, we have a responsibility as a community to make sure people are safe. Oh, that's so amazing. So she does have a hotline for the rape, uh, rape crisis and the shelter. If you need in any or more information, give them a call. Thank you so, so much for being with us, Teresa. Thank you for having me. And we'll be right back. Hey, Ma, I got the job. Got the job. Welcome aboard. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Donate to Goodwill. Help provide job training in your community. 